This is the chance of a lifetime. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to check out how the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games are going to change the face of Hackney and the East End for good. Hackney's got one of the most amazing histories of anywhere in the world. For instance, billions of people have seen Romeo and Juliet, haven't they? But did you know that it was first performed by Shakespeare in Hackney when he was working in Shoreditch down Curtain Road? It's absolutely true. But although we're going to make our way over to the Olympic site and the host boroughs of Hackney, Newham, Tower Hamlets, Waltham Forest and Greenwich, it's really exciting to start in Westminster and see all the big London tourist sites from the air. You've got the Houses of Parliament down there and the London Eye and of course the mighty river Thames, one of the great rivers of the world, home to settlers for nearly 2,000 years since Roman times. The Romans built loads of roads around here, the oldest of which is in Hackney along Old Street and was built by Julius Caesar. This aerial view of London is so amazing. Down to the right there's the South Bank Centre, Bankside, the Globe Theatre, Tate Modern. You can see the famous Greenwich Observatory, the O2 and the Cutty Sark in Greenwich. Ahead in the distance, out past Tower Bridge, you can see Canary Wharf and Docklands in the Tower Hamlets. But it's only a couple of miles out to Hackney and the good old East End. It's nice not to get stuck in a traffic jam, isn't it? Let's fly past St Paul's Cathedral instead. St Paul's was built by Sir Christopher Wren after the Great Fire of London and marks the start of the City of London, main contender for the crown of financial capital of the entire world. But as soon as those skyscrapers of the city end, then we're in Hackney. Yeah, Hackney and the city are that close. More Roman stuff. You see that road down there that links the city with Hackney? That's the old Roman road that used to link London with Cambridge. We're flying over Shoreditch now. Today it's one of the trendiest places in London. No surprise then that the first two theatres in London were in Shoreditch. James Burbage built the theatre in 1576 and the timbers were eventually moved to Bankside in 1598 to create the original Globe. Hackney Central is home to the Hackney Empire, which has been visited by everyone from Chaplin and Laurel and Hardy to Louis Armstrong, Ralph Fiennes, Demi Moore, Harold Pinter, Lenny Henry. You may well have seen Leona Lewis perform her homecoming concert at the Empire after she won the X Factor. Just over the road is St Augustine's Church Tower, built in the 13th century by the Knights Templar. Who knows, maybe they hid the Holy Grail there once upon a time. Or oh, have I been reading too much Dan Brown? I probably have. Here we are, good old Hackney Marshes. Here we have the largest collection of football pitches in the whole of Europe. And who learns to bend a ball here? David Beckham, of course. And just over there, ba -ba, that is the Olympic site itself. A huge media centre is being built there and 20,000 journalists from all over the world will be based there. After the Games, the infrastructure will be used to house media companies and arts organisations. As we move over the north of Hackney, we come to Stoke Newington. Edgar Allan Poe went to school there, Anna Sewell wrote Black Beauty there, Daniel Defoe wrote Robinson Crusoe there and Mary Shelley, who scared the wits out of everyone with Frankenstein, often stayed there. Today you might bump into a national newspaper editor, a famous musician like Pete Doherty, or any number of well-known actors like Judge John Deed star Martin Shaw. Connecting Church Street and Stamford Hill is Abney Park Cemetery. Amy Winehouse shot the video for Back to Black there. Over a hundred different languages are spoken here in Hackney. It really is one of the most cosmopolitan places in the whole world. In N16, you've got a Jewish community right next to a Turkish community. So you could have a halal starter, a kosher main course, and a nice bit of treacle pudding in one of the working men's cafes if you fancy it. Lots of famous people came from Stamford Hill. Playwright Harold Pinter, singer Helen Shapiro, and glam rock legend Mark Bolan. A third of the 2012 games will be taking place right here in Hackney. And if that wasn't exciting enough, all the improvements and investments will make the borough a much better place than it is now. 
and it's already London's coolest borough. Well, that's my opinion.